a very good morning to all welcome to the webinar on enhanced vmware backup and replication with vembu vm backup version 3.5 my name is manoj i am here a part of sales engineering with vembu technologies i'll be hosting today's session um i see that these are quickly trying to join the session so let's wait for a minute for everyone to uh, join the session and then we can go ahead and get started thank you hope uh, all the attendees has joined so let's get started so to start with let's have a quick intro on the company profile uh, vmb technologies is founded in the year 2004 we are a private company profitable since 2006 Uh, we have 4000 plus channel partners and we reached more than 60000 businesses so far we are headquartered in chennai india 70% of our customers are from north america 20% uh, from europe and the rest 10% from asia pacific region vembu bdr suite is a one stop solution for all your backup and disaster recovery needs catering every requirement of small and medium sized businesses it has a group of products bundled together and they are Vembu VM backup for the backup and replication of VMware and Hyper-V, Vembu image backup for the physical server image backups and uh, biometric recovery, and Vembu network backup for the granular file folder level backup and application level backups like Exchange, SQL, SharePoint, Active Directory, uh, Outlook, MySQL, etc. And Vembu online backup is purely a cloud-based solution where you can directly perform file folder level and application level backup and backup the data to our cloud Vembu cloud. and vembu saas backup um is a backup solution for saas applications like office uh, 365 pay and uh, google apps adding to these products we do have some more add on products and they are vembu offsite dr which is an add on service to the vembu bdr backup server where the offsite dr enables you to keep an additional copy of the backed up data on a remote uh, data center it could be a san or nas or a private cloud where Uh, you can directly perform the local backup to your BDS server, and from there you can replicate the data to the offsite DR server. And um, Vembu Cloud DR helps you to set up hybrid cloud environment where instead of uh, replicating the data to an offsite data center, you can have the data additional copy of the data being replicated to our cloud Vembu Cloud, so that in case of disaster you can directly perform a cloud level disaster recovery uh, using Vembu Cloud DR. Vembu BDR 360 helps you to do a 24 by 7 monitoring and manageability of your multiple BDR servers for this one single centralized pane of glass where you can monitor multiple BDR servers from the single centralized console. Vembu Universal Explorer is an agentless software that helps you to do a granular restore of the Microsoft applications like Exchange SQL, SharePoint, Active Directory from the image level backups. Instead of performing a manual restore, you can directly perform instant uh, uh, granular restore of applications from the image level backups using this ability. Say if it is an Exchange, you can even do a mail level restore or if it is in SQL, you can even do a database level restore by using this Vembu Universal Explorer. Why we need uh, Vembu VM backup? Backing up our virtual environments are typically more expensive and difficult to manage. As we all know, it requires fundamentally a different approach. Vembu VM backup is exclusively designed for virtual environments like VMware vSphere and Microsoft Hyper-V by the experts in the industry. It actually fills here the purpose with the best breed in technology, providing a manageable solution in an affordable cost for both VMware vSphere and Microsoft Hyper-V virtual machines uh, uh, where it not only backs up the uh, virtual machines but also ensures that it is backing up the applications residing inside the uh, uh, virtual machines are being backed up intact so that you can even do a granular application level recovery with these machine level backups. It also provides an option to perform a uh, cloud disaster recovery. So to uh, study deep into the backup and disaster recovery we need an understanding of what is an RTO and RPO. Recovery time objective RTO is nothing but the time taken to recover a virtual machine or a physical machine after the disaster. And uh, with Vembu, it offers the best uh, RTO in the industry, which is less than 15 minutes, where it can be achieved with various types of recovery, say like instant virtual machine recovery, instant file level recovery, or instant application level recovery using Vembu Universal Explorer for the applications like uh, Microsoft Active Directory, Exchange, SQL, SharePoint. So by these various recovery methods, you can back, get the uh, actual critical machines or applications back on track in less than 15 minutes of time. 
So our recovery point objective or PO is like up to which point you can recover a, a machine after the disaster. So Wembu offers near continuous data production without affecting the production data center. It has an automated backup and replication scheduling and the backup frequency starts from every 15 minutes. So you can even assure or achieve an RPO of less than 15 minutes by configuring the backups to run every 15 minutes. At any point of time, the backed up data should be recoverable. If not, the backups are worthless. Vembu actually, there, there are several scenarios uh, we have come across where the IT administrators, when they perform the disaster recovery, they realize that the actual backed up data is corrupted and eventually they end up in data loss. To avoid such scenarios, uh, Vembu actually integrated a feature called uh, the backup verification where uh, post verification, post completion of the backup job or once in a day, an automated check or verification runs on the backed up data where all the backed up virtual machines will be booted up and the boot screen will be captured as screenshot and those screenshot will be mailed to the administrators. So as an admin, you can simply take a look at the uh, boot uh, screenshots and you can ensure that all the backed up machines are bootable, good to go at any point of time. So Vembu offers, uh, Vembu has a efficient storage management system called Vembu Hive, where it is a file system effectively designed to manage uh, uh, the large scale backup and disaster recovery applications with support of advanced use cases. It can be simply defined as a file system of file systems. And the best part is this file system can easily be implemented in any type of storage like SAN or NAS or directed to storage. And uh, you can automatically scale up or scale out the storage devices. And it has an inbuilt version control, error correction, compression, deduplication, and encryption uh, on this file system. So there has been a lot of uh, need for performing a migration between physical to virtual, virtual to physical, or between uh, hybrid virtual environments like VMware to Hyper-V or vice versa. Rainbow has a built-in solution for all your migration plans where it supports instant creation of the VHD, VM, DK and RAW file formats of the backed up physical or virtual machines so that the users can instantly start migrating the uh, performing the migrations like physical to virtual or virtual to physical or between hybrid virtual environments like the VMware to Hyper-V or vice versa can be done without performing a manual migration. It has instant creation of all those files and you can directly start moving the machines. So this is the architecture of Vembu VM Backup where you can see Vembu BDR uh, Backup Server is where all the virtual machines are being backed up where the data is being stored using Vembu High File System. Vembu VM Backup acts as, uh, actually acts as a proxy between the VMware and the Vembu BDR Backup Server. It is purely agentless, the VMware backups are. So uh, you can directly configure the backup from the VDS server itself where the VM backup communicates with the VMware server. It reads the data, compresses the data, and sends the data to the VDS server. And there, uh, the data is processed using Vembo Hive file system and stored into the storage. Optionally, you can replicate the additional copy of the data to a remote or offsite data center using Vembo offsite DR or to our cloud, Vembo Cloud, using Vembo Cloud DR. Vembo Portal is where you manage all your billing and licenses, and uh, the licenses required for the Vembo BDR server will be automatically supplied uh, from your Vembo Portal account. So to take a deep look into the uh, features of uh, VMware Backup and Replication with Vembo VM Backup, uh, backup of multiple VMs in a single backup job and there is also option to create multiple backup jobs for a group of VMs. It supports VMware, ESXi host and vCenter servers and it supports uh, ESXi version 4.0 and above. Support for vCenter server version 4.1 and above and the IP and network remapping support for the replicated VMs. So to see uh, uh, the uh, uh, VMware backup and replication in uh, in, a, uh, in a deeper method. You can see the Vembu BDR server uh, has the Vembu VM backup as a proxy, and it will communicate with the uh, VMware servers, reads uh, the data, encrypts the data, and it will send the uh, data to the Vembu BDR backup server. And the data is compressed and encrypted on the fly. And the compressed and encrypted data, YouTube the data will be stored into the storage repository using Vembo Hive. So, um, uh, Vembo VM backup uses various transport modes. 
so depending upon the uh, age in the installation the environment being backed up it will automatically choose which type of transport mode it should use and also we do have an option to configure the Vimbo VM backup client to permanently use one of the transport modes uh, by manually assigning it and uh, the various transport modes are direct SAN mode hot add mode and network mode uh, let's uh, see how the direct SAN mode works uh, so in direct SAN transport mode the Vimbo VM backup client will have access directly to the SAN so it works both on the physical servers or the VMs uh, virtual machines or the agent could be on the physical servers or in the uh, virtual machines such that the agent will directly read the data from the SAN where the actual virtual machines are stored and it will just uh, uh, reads the data and sends the data to the Vimbo BDR backup server storage repository. And in the hot add mode, uh, the agent is installed in any one of the virtual machine inside the ESXi server where the virtual disks of the other virtual machines to be backed up will be directly attached to the, uh, 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 the Vimbo VM backup client virtual machine which has a VM backup client. So such that uh, the virtual disks disk are directly attached, it will read the attached disk sends the backed up data to the Vimbo BDR backup server storage repository. So uh, this is like uh, the virtual machine resides in any one of the virtual machine. Uh, uh, the VM backup client resides in any one of the virtual machine inside the uh, VMware environment which is being backed up. And this is a legacy method where the, the VM backup client agent can be installed in uh, either it could be on the virtual machine or it could be on any other physical machine. Uh, since uh, it will just read the information and uh, performs the backup using the TCP IP connection. So the data transfer speed is comparatively lesser in network transport mode when it compared with the hot add mode and the direct SAN mode. And this is the legacy method used for the uh, VMware backup. So these are all the some uh, high highlight features of uh, Vimbo VM backup. So what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna show you directly how uh, the Vimbo OVM backup uh, 3.5 console uh, works and how we can configure uh, 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 VMware backup using uh, Vimbo VM backup version uh, 3.5. So this is the single standalone console of uh, Vimbo BDR Speed version 3.5. Let's say if you want to perform a VMware backup, select uh, backup uh, Vimbo or uh, VMware backup. So the very first step will be like uh, you need to add the ESXi server or the vCenter to your BDR server. So the you just need to click on add VMware vSphere server and uh, what you need to do is like you need to provide the uh, ESXi server credentials the host name and the IP address are it with the vCenter access credentials the user access details and click on save once when you add these credentials it will just uh, the Bamboo VM backup proxy will communicate to the VMware vSphere server and it will just uh, list the ESXi server for the backup here so I have already added one from my test bed all I need to do is like just click on backup now so now what happens is like this VM backup proxy will communicate to the uh, ESXi server and it will just go down and list all the virtual machines running inside that ESXi server here so I'm gonna pick what all the virtual machines to be backed up and click on next and this is where I ensure the RTO of this uh, backup job so as I said in the presentation you can even run the backup job every 15 minutes by ensuring this uh, you can achieve an RTO of less than 15 minutes PM backup so uh, I select uh, either it could be hourly weekly daily how frequently I want to run the backup here and click on next and this is where I ensure uh, the RPO of the backup job up to which point I can recover a backup job so you can see how many versions uh, you want to retain uh, from here and again um, these backups are application aware as I said we are not only backing up the virtual machines but we are also ensuring that the applications residing inside the virtual machines are being backed up intact so to ensure that if you enable the application aware option what happens is like during the backup job it will check 
whether the applications running inside the machine is consistent or not and if you enable this option it will wait uh, if the application is not consistent and it will run the backup only after the uh, applications are being in a stable state and as you know um, the transaction logs for exchange are like critically huge in size uh, so if you want to truncate the logs after the uh, transaction logs after the successful backup you can even truncate it through the vm vm backup by enabling the uh, log truncation here so once after i configure the application aware option and retention all i need to do is like just review whatever i have configured and provide a backup need and you can directly start running the backup by click on run the backup so it's a very simple visit where uh, by running a few steps so you can directly start configuring uh, backup of uh, your vmware environment to the bdr and um, so it's, it's a very simple and straightforward product where there is a 30 days of a full feature trial exists so if anyone of you uh, uh, are interested you what we could recommend is like you can directly give it a try by downloading the product from the website because you will have a better understanding when you directly have your hands on the product so the session is recorded so if you need a recorded copy of this session you can send us an email to bamboo-sales@bamboo.com or you can also email our support desk at bamboo-support@bamboo.com Once again thank you all for joining this session have a wonderful day